child. Listen, y'all, come on in, come on in. This is Chrissy T, and I'm back with some tea, honey. 50 Cent is reportedly seeking sole custody of his son after discovering that his baby mama, Daphne Joy, is up to no good. Honey, she got herself enthralled with Diddy, and her name is all up and through this lawsuit that's going on. So Daphne is accused of being one of Diddy's uh, intimate madams, if you know what I'm saying, along with two other women. And they were compensated with a monthly allowance in exchange for the services. So the moment her name was mentioned in this lawsuit, 50 Cent has been trolling. He posted a picture of himself with the caption, I didn't know you were a sex worker. LOL, yo, this shit is a movie. Now, this isn't the first time um, Daphne Joy has been connected to Diddy, which makes these claims against her or these allegations against her not all surprising because it is possible that she is an intimate madam of Diddy's. So a couple years ago, his baby mama, Daphne Joy, posted a picture of herself and Diddy on a romantic island and she captioned the picture happy birthday to my favorite person so 50 cent got wind of this and you know he had to clap back he had to troll so he posted a picture of himself and his his son and he captioned this oh shit that's your mommy over there with puffy remember what i told you the other day these hoes be crazy now daphne commented because the shade room had reposted it and she said, I never, please stop doing this to me. I never bother you. And I am a outstanding mother to our son. Can we please just focus on that? Now, fast forward today, uh, 50 Cent posted, because he's petty. He posted a news article about himself. <laughs> and it said that 50 Cent is seeking sole custody of his son. And in the caption, he wrote, it is what it is. See you in family court, you sex worker. So Daphne responds, um, but she first wanted to clear her name. Um, she wrote in her stories, I am deeply hurt by the, li by the lies in Rodney Jones' lawsuit. The claim that I am a intimate madam is 100% false and character assassination. I am retaining an attorney to explore all legal remedies against both Rodney and his attorney. So then she responds to um, 50 cents trolling. And she said, everything is a joke to you until your safety is compromised, which is happening now. You are wreaking real havoc, frenzy and chaos into people's lives. How would you feel if Sayre was the one in handcuffs for nothing? which is their son. We moved to New York to give you the opportunity to be a father to your son. And you saw him 10 times out of the two years that we lived one mile away from you. I am tired of upholding and I am tired of upholding and protecting an image to our son that you have never even earned. Let's put the real focus on your true evil actions of graping me and physically abusing me you are no longer my oppressor and my god will handle you from this point on you have permanently damaged the last hope i had for you as a father to preserve our family with these last and final false claims made against me you have broken our hearts for the last and final time and of course, 50 Cent in pure fashion had to clap back. He said, you moved a mile away in the hopes of having another baby with me, but I was busy. So you moved back and then you started receiving money from Brother Love, a.k.a. Diddy. Now, here we are, little sex worker. Damn. But it doesn't stop here because 50 Cent has been trolling Stevie J because Stevie J, his name is also in the lawsuit. And Stevie J had to clap back and he threatened to put the pause on 50 Cent. So 50 started trolling Stevie J. He posted the allegations of the Lorad lawsuit. And the document stated that Diddy 
would use videos of Stevie J being intimate with men. And he used that video in order to groom other men to do the same. And Stevie J got pissed, honey. And he went online and he threatened 50. And here is what he said. You and your feelings about Daphne? Is she would gang them? Or is it that you sucking little rod dick? <laughs> However it go, I want you to fade, nigga. Fuck all that. Since it's entertainment, let me beat the shit out of you on TV or something. Don't duck that. I'm calling you out. What you want to do, Curtis? Curtis! What's good, man? You and your feelings about Daphne? Is she would. So let's circle back to the DV allegations made by Daphne. Um, 50 Cent has a history of DV. And yes, it is possible that he really did beat the shit out of Daphne. Um, his second baby mama. Because his first baby mama said the same thing. She said that he was abusive. And she alleged, if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong... Her house caught, caught on fire, and I think she said it was him. I don't know. Um, not only that, he was dating a stripper by the name of Tatted Up Holly. So he got wind that she started dating a ASAP Rocket. And of course, in pure fashion, he gets jealous and angry. So he takes to Instagram and he posted a picture of her with the caption basically saying that she's community puss. So once she got wind of what she did, what he said, she threatened to leak uh, text messages exposing him of abuse. So after she said that, I'll be damned if not a minute later, that post about her was gone. 50 wasted no time removing that post. So you have three women that said that he has done these things. So it's likely to be true. And didn't he throw a microphone at some woman during his concert? Damn near knocked her damn head off. Whew, child, this situation is a mess. And I'm not sure if 50 Cent is trying to get full custody of his son or if he's just trolling Daphne. Child, this, this whole thing is a mess.